So today is June 26th, Tuesday, June 26th, 2018. Fake election day in New York City, New York State. Enjoy. Yeah. Fake elections. So it's a Democratic uh, primary for federal, meaning that all federal seats, all Congress, and all the one Senate. So there's two Senate seats, right? There's uh, Chuck Schumer, the incumbent, and Kirsten Gillibrand, who was up for re-election. No challenge. Uh, there's nobody, nobody not a single Democrat stepped forward to challenge her. You talk about being vested. She's so good. That's why, right? She's so good. Oh, we love her. Oh, she's such a great senator. No, it's Clinton protection. That's, that's, that's an appointee. That's not a, uh, so there'll be no election. There'll be no Democratic primary for the Senate seat for Kirsten Gillibrand. Congratulations, Ms. Gillibrand. In the uh, state runs, I think that there's there's a couple of battlegrounds. We have to watch uh, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez <laughs> in 15. She'll get blown out by Joe Crowley, the 10-term incumbent. But they, well, we gotta have, you know, we have faith. Huh? In my district, you have an army guy, Max Rose. I interviewed him. I like Max. He's a nice guy. But his money, he raised a million dollars, large contributions, mostly from out of district. Where'd the money come from? Follow the money. Army intelligence. Congratulations, Max. Good job. I'm calling these races right now. So there'll be more tonight, more fake elections um, Tuesday. I'm not going to vote. But I, w I might just go into the polling place. I might go in, have a look. Maybe pencil in Mickey Mouse. I just want to see if it's on the up and up. I am a registered Democrat in New York City, in New York State, whatever. And so, uh, I don't know, maybe I got purged off the rolls. Let's see. But I will walk into my polling place today. But... Uh, I won't be casting a vote for any of these folks. Not because I don't like some of them or believe in at least one of them, which I do, but I fundamentally disbelieve in the process that it's, 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 it's a waste of, it's an, it's an insult to my intelligence to go in there and vote thinking that, that that vote is going to count and it actually makes a difference. So I'll come back tonight, uh, probably, I'd like to come back later on tonight and uh, or at some point, maybe tomorrow morning, talk about the results here in New York. But they're pretty much straightforward. The incumbents win, follow the money. Whoever raises the most money wins. Money trumps everything, right? Money trumps. Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.